Hey, welcome back to Crosscut Coyote Folk Bench, everybody. This is Alvin Harrison. This is part four of how I went about making this gig bag. Anyway, I hope everybody's having a good time. Hope you're being safe. I hope you're being uh, positive, and I hope you're getting around to uh, uh, you know uh, spreading a little bit of positivity yourself. Uh, but I'm also hoping that you are doing something creative to uh, in the midst of this pandemic. You know, it's uh, taking the time to salute those on the front line who are really catching hell. But uh, I also salute those who are creating positive pockets for the people on the front line. It's a, a refuge for them to retire to. So we are important as far as as creative people. So maintain what you're doing because it does help. It does contribute something. You know, uh, it gives uh, some hope. But for now, I'm just you know gonna finish up with uh, what I was trying to show you in reference to the steps in a chronological order of how everything went. Uh, so let's let's just get right into it. The application I use to put the pockets on basically is just a little hot glue and then sewing afterwards. But the hot glue is basically just to tack it down a little bit. And I didn't want to put a lot of that because I didn't want to wind up sewing through it since I was doing it by hand. Um, but uh, I can't really say there was a whole lot to it. You know, just cut the material as you saw. And, and I just folded the edges to sort of create like a nice neat edge and fold it to the position where it would accommodate the chosen space inside the gig bag and not be cumbersome when you're putting the guitar in or when you're putting items inside the bag you know, so um, I chose uh, two pockets for this particular bag I probably could have gone with three but I went ahead and chose two pocket spaces so this is basically it just you know, fold the edges um, glue it in sew it um, this is the pocket applications and that's all it really consists of At this point here on the edges of the pocket where I uh, glued the original second layer down, uh, this is just me trying to trim that up a little bit. So I was just gluing the edges you know, a little closer to the pocket. This was inside of the bag and it wasn't that important as long as it just didn't get away of the instrument loading.
Hey, thanks again for joining us for part four of how I went about making this gig bag. Uh, I'll have part five to you with it, uh, to you again as, as soon as I can. Um, and I'm hoping you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. Um, so um, for the most part, uh, stay positive, stay around positive people. Try to be positive yourself and, and, and uh, share a little bit. Uh, but most of all, be safe and keep doing your art. Okay, this is Alan Harrison, Crosscut Coyote Folk Bench. I'll see you next time.